Here are a couple of cute little birds. We'll draw their beaks and their eyes and their feet with a Sharpie and then we'll draw their bodies and fill it in with a paintbrush. You'll need a piece of paper or actually several pieces of paper. Your drawing Sharpie, you could even use a thin Sharpie for a finer point, your paints and a paintbrush. Okay, I'm going to use my fat Sharpie for this and to the left of the center, here's the center of your page, we're going to draw a short little straight line. That's going to be the parrot's beak. And in the middle of that line, I'm going to go to the left. And at the top, I'm going to connect it to the point. Halfway through, I'm going to bring it down here. That's a funny little beak. Okay, to the right of that beak, let's do a dot. That's going to be his eye. There. It's going to look kind of round. All right. Now, take your paintbrush, and you're going to make a fancy hairdo for this guy, a cockatoo hairdo, cockatoo hairdo. Mix your colors. I'm going around his eyes. Notice that? Let's put a little yellow up here. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to pick a blue color, go below his face near, and touch his, his beak here and start the body. Go in for the neck and then around for the tummy. I'm going to change colors and get a purple. Start here. This goes too fast. Just stop the video. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the page because those are going to be his tail feathers. All right. I'm going to add some red to that. Make a nice mixture of color. And I'll do his nice side feathers. Add a little red to that too. Remember, watercolor dances on the page, and if it, it uh, bleeds, that's okay. Now I'm going to make a... Hey, there's his head. I'm going around his eye. There's a lot of color in nature in parrots. It's really anything goes. Let's fill that in. Oh, I have to do his beak. All right, now we know where he's standing, so... I am going to add his little feet, right? I don't have to do the right size, it's not showing. And let's put him on a branch. So I go up behind him, and I'm going fairly fast, so just stop the tape and slow down uh, so you get caught up. And, add, and it doesn't have to be a brown tree, it can be, I'll show you a purple one, a nice little tree, okay? And then add some leaves leaves. Just using gestural painting here, just a little bit of shape here, okay? All right, I'm going to show you the next bird. Now here's a simple little bird. I'm going to use my skinny sharpie just to change it up a bit. And to the right side of the center, I'm going to start with his beak also and then do a straight line. And then in the middle of that straight line, I'm going to do a V on the side. And then connect that. He's got his beak open. He's looking for berries. Right? And then eye to the left of his beak and fill that in with a dot. If you like to put a black circle around it, you could do that. I mean, a black line around it, you could do that. All right. That's it for that bird so far. We're going to draw his feet when we get his body in, but we don't know what the body's going to look like yet or where it's going to be. So I'm going to start with my brush full of paint and I'm going to go behind the beak and then I'm going to go up to make his head. So I'm drawing with my brush around his eye and I'm going to come down for his neck. Get a little bit more paint. You can change your colors as you go. I'm going to do blue-green and then make his body come out here because he's sitting on a branch. Here's his body. All right. And I'm changing colors because I want to make this a multicolor bird and from his chin I'm going to pull down and give him a nice red breast. Robin red breast. All right, and I let that watercolor run, that's fine. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a purple feather, tail feather. It's that simple, isn't that nice? Okay, and then while I'm at it, I'm going to give him a nice yellow beak. I don't care if it runs. Okay, now we know where he's sitting, so let's add our feet. And these feet are going to be a little bit different than just the parrot's feet. They're going to come out one a one straight line going this way and then he changed make an angle the other direction and then a few little claws and let's do that again come out in a straight line change directions to make an angle and then 
few little claws. All right. And let's also put him in a tree. So that goes right up underneath his feet. Look at the fat tree here. You can have branches go wherever you want. You can make flowers, berries, as I said before, anything you like. Let's add a few leaves. That is it. It's gesture drawing. You're kind of getting the gesture of the bird with your brush. I think for fun, let's add a few berries because he likes berries. Dots. This you can make berries with your marker too. Don't you have your little red berries? You can use your skinny sharpie to connect those berries on the branch. Okay. There. Okay. Have some fun. Here are a few samples of some work that's been done. Lovely little bird, little parrots, little parrots. Nice dark purple tree. That's really nice. And you notice how every stroke they change colors. Nice hairdo. Here's our little blue bird, our little red breasted bird. And then you can put several birds on one page. This student put two of the little red breasted um, birds and two parrots. And this is where we started. Okay, have some fun.